If you know how to fish, consider yourself lucky because you have the superpower to draw fish out of the water using nothing but a rod, a tiny rope, and a string. But this superpower, just like others, comes with uncertainty. For instance, you can never tell what kind of fish you'll catch or if it'll be a fish at all. From crocodiles to fish monsters, here are the 20 most disturbing fishing moments ever. Unidentified catch. In the vast expanse of the ocean, the unexpected often ensnares itself into the nets of unsuspecting fishermen. One such tale subscribes to the eerie undercurrents of the deep, where the line between the real and the fantastical blurs, sending chills up the spines of even the most seasoned seafarers. The day was like any other, as a routine fishing expedition unfolded on the Azure Mediterranean waters. Suddenly, the tranquility was shattered by an inexplicable tug on the fisherman's net, a pull far stronger than any mere fish. As the net was hauled aboard, the fisherman's eyes widened at the sight, not a fish, but a creature of human semblance, a mermaid of myth and lore. Its hands, strikingly human-like, were webbed, hinting at a life spent beneath the waves. The scene was one of astonishment as the mermaid managed to free itself, disappearing back into the depths. The nets now stood empty, but the fishermen's minds filled with a tale echoing through the ages. The encounter captured on video has since swept the world, stirring debates. Skeptics dismiss in an illusion or imagination, yet believers hold this as evidence of legendary beings. The deep still hides much, and snaring myth made real in nets of men. But it also slips away, leaving only ripplets of speculation and enduring curiosity for what swims below. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. This photo shows an African fisherman who went to the open sea for a little fishing. As with every other person, he hoped to find some tasty aqua creatures he could either add to his plate or keep in his fish pond. However, he didn't know that he was about to encounter the most life-changing moment. As it turns out, this fisherman captures what no one was supposed to see. Besides the fact that his catch looks like a monster seal with hippo features, it also weighs a ton, but that's not where the story lies. After his catch, he dropped the fish back into the ocean, but three days later he was nowhere to be seen. The authorities soon reported him missing, and no one was heard of since. Now the question is, what happened to him? Was the monster fish involved? Is this merely a tale with no reality to it? We would love to know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to use the hashtag sweet topic as well. Tasmanian Giant Freshwater Crayfish In the tranquil rivers of Tasmania lives the Tasmanian Giant Freshwater Crayfish. A formidable aquatic hunter endowed with the largest claws relative to its body size in the world, this leviathan emerges slowly from the shadows, its colossal blue-black claws clicking against the rocks. Moving with unhurried grace, this armored creature wields its gigantic pincers capable of crushing with incredible force to lunge suddenly at prey. Its sensations heightened by twitching antenna, the crayfish discerns even the subtlest signals in the water to locate food. Yet its reign is challenged by rivals emerging to duel for domination. These epic battles between crayfish warriors, their gigantic claws locked in struggle, are spectacles of raw power and agility. Though not every match is won, the crayfish persists, its shell etched with the scars of past conflicts. But the crayfish is more than just a formidable hunter and dueler. These ancient creatures, reaching ages up to 60 years, symbolize resilience in the face of habitat destruction and climate change. Their endurance is proof of nature's timeless beauty and strength. The Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish remains a potent emblem of the wonders that still lurk in quiet corners of the world. Its riveting story is one of survival, conflict, and the relentless pursuit of life in the tranquil depths. Strange Looking Fish One day, the tranquility of the open waters was ruptured by the jarring sight of an alien-like creature latching on to the end of the fishing line. The fisherman was a content creator named Tai, and he was met with an aquatic enigma that looked less like a product of Mother Nature and more like an extra in a sci-fi flick. This was no ordinary catch. It was the strangest fish he'd ever seen. Its appearance was so astounding, so beyond the pale, you'd be forgiven for thinking it had slipped through a portal from another dimension. Not long after, 
the same waters served up another marvel. This time it wasn't just a fish, but an entire marine creature that seemed to defy classification. Its features were so outlandishly distinct, so far removed from what we understand as normal in the animal kingdom, that the only appropriate reaction was disbelief. The fisherman could only marvel at his catch, a creature that might well have been plucked from the pages of a Lovecraftian novella. Any fishing trip can turn into an unexpected journey of discovery, revealing creatures that defy our understanding and challenge our preconceptions. Indeed, the ocean's depths are home to a gallery of nature's most extraordinary art, where every catch might just be a brushstroke of the bizarre and the unbelievable. Little Bitty Boat and Big Shark Far from the calm shores of New Zealand, amidst waves that whispered the tales of the deep, a group of brave, perhaps foolhardy scientists embarked on a mission. Their voyage was no ordinary angling adventure, but a daring endeavor involving a little bitty boat, a high-tech camera, and a giant 18-foot beast from the abyss, a great white shark. They aimed to attach a GoPro camera to the fin of the colossal creature to capture the world from a shark's eye view. In their tiny dinghy, they drew closer to the marine leviathan, their hearts pounding like drumbeats in the open sea. Oblivious to the impending danger, they moved forward with their plan. But the ocean had other ideas. The Great White, a creature of primal instincts and raw power, was not amused by this intrusion. It turned on the tiny boat, an embodiment of rage and territoriality. A frenzied attack ensued, rocking the boat like a child's toy amidst the vast, indifferent sea. Amidst the chaos, a voice echoed over the splashes. I don't think this is such a brilliant idea, you know. I don't think we can have a boat in there. I really don't. The incident sparked discussions about the increasing reports of sharks associating boats with food due to increased tourism and cage diving activities. In an ironic twist, the scientist's disturbing encounter became a cautionary tale, a dramatic example of the unfathomable power of nature and why little bitty boats and big sharks don't mix. Guy catches big bull shark by the tail. Under the blazing sun, saltwater waves lapped against a beautiful beach scene. On shore, the man's line went taut, his reel screaming as if possessed. His heart pounded in sync with the rhythmic thumping of the waves against the hull. His bounty was not the usual finned creature, it was a bull shark, a creature known for its unpredictability and aggression the pinnacle of seafaring nightmares. With a daring that bordered on insanity, he wrestled with the line, his muscles strained, sweat streamed down his face, but his resolve was unbroken. The beach waves rippled and the shark slowly surfaced, both fascinating and terrifying. The dance of predator and man had begun. But as the battle raged, the man seized an opportunity that would stun even seasoned seafarers. He reached out, his hands closing around the shark's tail. The audience gasped their breath hitching as the shark thrashed, the man's grip teetering on the edge of failure. Bull sharks, known to frequent both salt and freshwater, are one of the most dangerous shark species. They're unpredictable and powerful, and their stocky bodies are built for sudden bursts of speed, a fact the man was acutely aware of as his hands gripped the shark's tail. It was a moment that defined belief, defied logic, and yet it was happening right before everyone's eyes. Sea lion caught inside the net. In the frigid waters off the Russian coast, an unexpected catch was about to make a group of fishermen's daily haul one for the record books. The crew was hauling in what they anticipated to be a bulging net bursting with fish. Yet as they drew their net closer, the men noted a peculiar disturbance, a weightiness that seemed unusual even for their hefty haul. Suddenly, from the depths of the net, a pair of bewildered eyes blinked back at them. It wasn't a fish, but a massive, blubbery sea lion, a marine giant that had inadvertently become a part of their catch. The creature seemed to be as surprised as the fisherman, its eyes wide and round, exuding a palpable sense of confusion. It was an odd moment of silent comprehension, a bizarre meeting of two worlds where man and sea beast found themselves in an awkward encounter. The fisherman, animated and in good spirits, chose an unusual method to encourage their unexpected guest to leave. A hose was commandeered and the sea lion was gently sprayed with water, an attempt to coax it back into the sea. However, the sea lion seemed unperturbed, lounging comfortably amid the pile of fish, contemplating its predicament. After a moment that stretched too long, 
the sea lion decided it had overstayed its welcome. With a swift, graceful movement, the creature flapped off the boat, causing a colossal splash as it returned to its watery abode. The fishermen could only watch in amazement, their laughter echoing over the sea. Shark slaps a woman in the face. In the vast, unpredictable expanse of the ocean, a group of adventurous souls found themselves in the midst of a scene more at home in a Hollywood thriller than their tranquil South African getaway. There, off the coast, the sea's surface rippled with life as dolphins and sharks alike converged on a swirling bait ball, an exhibition of nature that was as beautiful as it was terrifying. Emily Cares, a seasoned veterinarian with an act for wildlife, was among the spectators, her eyes wide with awe and a hint of trepidation. Aboard their inflatable dinghy, they were closer to the action than any cinema seat could offer. The adrenaline was palpable, the atmosphere electric. Yet, little did they know, the real show was about to start. With a swift, powerful flick, a shark's tail emerged from the depths, slapping Emily square in the face. The ocean's heavyweight champion delivered a blow that was more slapstick than savage, yet it was enough to turn the awe into shock. The shark, perhaps tickled by its own audacity, then took an accidental nibble at their humble dinghy, deflating it slightly. Laughter and panic danced in the air as they scrambled for the air pump, battling to keep their vessel afloat. Their safe haven had become a sinking ship, yet the thrill of the encounter still sparkled in their eyes. The shark, oblivious to the chaos it had caused, returned to its underwater world, leaving behind a tale that would forever be etched in their memories. Fast Tuna Fishing Out in the open sea, where the horizon kisses the cobalt blue, a drama unfolds. The protagonist, a band of seasoned fishermen and their formidable adversary, the mighty bluefin tuna. This is no leisurely Sunday afternoon angling. It's a high-stakes, adrenaline-pumping pursuit, a maritime ballet of skill, strength, and sheer will. Like a well-oiled machine, the fishermen work in synchrony. Their eyes, sharp as a hawk's, scan the vast expanse for the telltale silver glint of the tuna. Suddenly, a splash, a flash of fin, and the game is afoot. Their hearts pound like war drums as they cast their lines, the sea air thick with anticipation. The ocean, once a tranquil azure, churns with frenetic activity. Massive schools of tuna break the surface, their sleek bodies gleaming in the sun. The fishermen's techniques become as varied as they are mesmerizing. Some employ the traditional rod and reel, their muscles straining with each tug. Others use nets, casting them wide and drawing them in with a chorus of triumph and exertion. Each catch is a story in itself, a tale of man versus beast. The battle against a powerful tuna is not for the faint of heart. It's a test of tenacity, a clash of raw power and refined skill. As the line tightens and the reel screams, the fishermen brace themselves. Their faces, weathered by sun and salt, break into triumphant grins as they hoist their catch, the fruits of their labor and courage. Beef Buffet In the haunting depths of Guadalupe Island, a bloated cow carcass bobbed in the cobalt waters, an oddity amongst the usual floatsome. Not a byproduct of human carelessness, but a calculated offering from marine biologists eager to observe hidden hierarchies of the deep. This spectacle offered insights into how different shark species share resources, balance competition and cooperation, and how an unusual abundance of food can draw diverse predators together in a thrilling display of nature's raw power. It was a glimpse into the intricate balance of life and death in the ocean's depths. The first to arrive were white sharks, notorious lords of the ocean realm. They descended upon the bovine bounty like aristocrats at a feast, asserting dominance with a brutal display of power. Chasing off interlopers, their tactics echoed the lawless nature of the deep sea. Yet there was an unexpected display of cooperation. Tiger sharks worked in unison to claim their share. Moving in pairs or groups, they tore off chunks of meat and blubber with methodical precision that bellied their savage reputation. Mako and blue sharks, initially outcompeted, moved in to pick the remains clean. This scientific experiment offers a glimpse into the mind of the beast and brings humankind closer to understanding the truth of how nature works by observing it through the lens of unusual circumstances. Stolen Catch Sarah Brame was enjoying a peaceful day of fishing off the coast of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 
when her tranquility was suddenly shattered by an unexpected visitor from the ocean. As Sarah was reeling in a prized red drum, a massive bull shark launched upwards and snatched the fish right off her line. The ocean, normally a serene mirrored vista, revealed its menace as the shark executed its assault with uncanny power and precision. Its gaping jaws snapped open to reveal rows of razor-sharp teeth just before seizing the red drum. Cries of shock echoed across the water as the anglers witnessed the dramatic shark attack unfold. Sarah's succinct reaction, it's a shark, a big old shark, encapsulated the moment. In a mere instant, the shark disappeared below the surface as swiftly as it had emerged, leaving only ripples. The brazen hit-and-run theft was executed with nonchalance as if snatching a catch straight from a pole was routine. In the aftermath, an eerie stunned silence befell the anglers as they grappled with the reality of their rare close encounter with one of the ocean's formidable hunters. The man who captured the entire incident on film found consolation in having recorded the fleeting yet memorable display of the shark's raw power and speed. Fishing in Georgia A sunny afternoon in the marshy wetlands of Georgia, the air thick with the scent of rich, damp earth and a hint of adventure. Our protagonist, a novice angler, had set out with a simple aim his first catch, unaware, blissfully ignorant, of the heart-stopping encounter that was about to unfold. The fishing line was cast, the bait sinking beneath the murky surface of the water. Time seemed to slow as he waited for the telltale tug on his line, the mark of his first victory. Suddenly, the line jerked, a hard and fast pull. His heart pounded in his chest as he worked to reel in his catch, a test of strength and skill. A triumph was within his grasp. The water broke, revealing a sizable fish glinting under the Georgia sun. But nature had a twisted sense of humor, and this was no ordinary fishing trip. In a heart-stopping moment, the gator sprinted onto land, snapping up a fish with an intimidating display of power and precision. A show of force that left our fishermen running his first catch a meal for a beast he hadn't bargained for. There was no anger, no fear, just an overwhelming sense of awe and respect. The fishermen learned that day that every fishing tale isn't about the one that got away, but sometimes about the unexpected guest at their feast. Uninvited guest Just off the sun-soaked shores of Cabo San Lucas lives a sea lion known to locals and tourists as Pancho, an aquatic jester of sorts whose antics have earned him an oddball celebrity status. In the clear waters where fishermen cast their lines in hope of a good catch, Pancho stages his performance. With an agility that bellies his hefty size, he deftly leaps onto unsuspecting boats, turning tranquility into a rambunctious spectacle. His strategy? Pilfer a hat here, snatch a pair of sunglasses there. The more valuable the item, the better the game. The locals, wise to his tactics, have turned this rascal's thievery into Cabo's most unconventional game of fetch. A stolen hat tossed into the sea warrants a reward, a fishy treat, flung from the deck. He dives after the morsel, his powerful flippers propelling him through the water with the grace of an Olympic swimmer. Tourists, cameras poised, watch in delight at this uninvited guest, staging his one sea lion show. Each high jump, each playful swipe of a paw, met with laughter and applause. But amongst the merriment, a stern warning prevails. Signs dot the harbor, a stark reminder of the line that separates wild from tame. Feed Pancho, but keep your hands to yourself. After all, beneath the playful exterior lies a wild creature. Bare-handed shark fishing. Under the sweltering Queensland sun, a group of Australian fishermen ready themselves for the adrenaline-laced endeavor that awaits them bare-handed shark fishing. The waters churn with life, but their quarry is no ordinary fish. They're hunting bull and tiger sharks, creatures known for their aggression and power. With a surge of adrenaline and the thrill of the hunt coursing through their veins, one man dives into the pulsating sea. He's not hunting with hooks or harpoons, he's wrestling these marine titans with nothing but raw human strength. The shark, surprised, thrashes and writhes, a display of primal fury, the man clings on, his grip unwavering on the shark's dorsal fin or gills. Each thrash, each surge of the shark drains its energy, its resistance waning under the unyielding grasp of the fisherman. This dance, dangerous and thrilling, 
isn't one of wanton cruelty, any shark too large, too feisty is released back into the water, a nod of respect for one predator to another. It's not a game of trophies, but a test of limits, a balance of respect and survival played out on the grand stage of nature. Injuries, though minor, are part of the deal. Cuts and bites become badges of honor, tales to be told over campfires. Yet despite the risks, no fisherman has suffered serious harm. It's a nod to their skill, a testament to the intoxicating mix of danger, thrill, and respect for nature that fuels this extraordinary tradition. Aggressive Tiger Shark In the warm waters of the Bahamas, a dance of terror unfolds by the coral reefs. Tiger sharks, notorious hunters of the deep, gather in anticipation. Their target? Schools of unsuspecting bait fish shimmering near the surface. The larger seasoned sharks assert dominance. Their strategy is chilling yet ingenious. Like stealthy submarines, they launch sudden, blitzkrieg assaults from below, scattering the schools with their burst of speed and capturing prey in a frenzy. The reef becomes an arena, the sharks working in eerie harmony to corral the schools against the unforgiving coral before launching their ambush. The aftermath is a spectacle of the raw struggle for survival, a frenzied jostling for the spoils of the hunt among these top predators. Suddenly, there's a tug on the fisherman's line. A battle erupts. The adversary, a massive tiger shark. For over half an hour, a tug of war ensues. The shark's desperate struggle for freedom met with the determination of the men on board. Eventually, exhaustion takes its toll. The shark is hauled on board, thrashing and writhing in the cradle of the boat. It's a sight to behold, over three meters of raw power and primal instinct weighing in at over 150 kilograms. The tension on board is palpable as it takes several men to control the creature. Eventually, the shark calms. Once measured and checked, this formidable predator is released back into the ocean, a symbol of respect and admiration for the untamed power of the tiger shark. A freaky three-legged creature. In the chilly waters off Coney Island, a fisherman's line jerked with an unexpected catch. His face twisted in bewilderment as he reeled in the anomaly. It was something out of a Lovecraftian tale, a slimy three-legged creature, its bulbous head glistening under the sun, a fishing line wedged in its gaping mouth. A perturbing mix of familiar and alien, the creature bore the typical traits of a fish, gills for breathing underwater, a spine indicating some skeletal structure, scales offering a modicum of protection, and fins for navigating the aquatic depths. Yet it also had appendages that resembled the limbs of a lizard. The baffled fisherman took the mysterious creature to the local aquarium. Experts, equally intrigued, identified the oddball as an Atlantic wolffish, a species known for their rare land-walking abilities. This particular specimen, however, was an extraordinary find. Towering over the average wolffish, it measured a staggering three feet long. A titan among its kin, caught in the shallows, far from the cold, deep waters it usually inhabited. What drove this deep sea dweller to the sun-kissed surf of Coney Island? Was it lured by the warmth of shallow waters? Or was it a case of disorientation, a terrifying journey into unfamiliar territory? The answer to these questions remains as elusive as the creature itself. Yet this bewildering encounter serves as a chilling reminder of the mysteries that lurk beneath the waves, waiting to be unearthed by the unsuspecting fishermen. 19 Stone Catfish In the tranquil waters of Italy's Po Delta, a scene of extraordinary struggle was about to unfold, a spectacle that would etch itself into fishing history. Dino Ferrari, a seasoned angler known for his prowess, was about to face off with an underwater leviathan, a Wells catfish that weighed in at a staggering 19 stone. From the outset, Ferrari knew this was no ordinary catch. As he grappled with his rod, the strength of the unseen adversary was apparent. The crowd watched in hushed anticipation, their eyes glued to the water's surface, waiting for the behemoth to reveal itself. With a sudden eruption of water, the colossal catfish breached the surface, its gargantuan form a sight to behold. The crowd gasped, the sheer size of the creature leaving them awestruck. Ferrari, however, remained unflinching, his eyes focused on the prize. Finally, after a heart-pounding struggle, the giant catfish was reeled in. The crowd erupted in cheers, their roars echoing across the water. He stood victorious, 
his achievement marking a new world record. The moment was immortalized in a video that would later circulate the globe, showcasing his exceptional skill and the awe-inspiring spectacle of nature's prowess. The giant catfish, a creature of extraordinary size and strength, had met its match in Dino Ferrari, a man who proved that with determination, skill, and a bit of luck, even the most formidable challenges can be overcome. Catch his 500-pound grouper and tiny boat in the vast blue expanse of the Florida coast, it was a day that would etch itself in the annals of fishing folklore. From his modest kayak, a lone angler, John Black, was about to engage in the duel of David versus Goliath proportions. His adversary, a colossal 500-pound grouper, lurking in the depths below. The ocean, usually a tranquil haven, was about to turn into an aquatic arena. John cast his line and the deep-sea behemoth took the bait, igniting a grueling tug of war. The kayak bobbed precariously as the mammoth grouper, a creature from the deep, strained against the line. The odds seemed stacked against our intrepid fisherman, yet he clung on with Herculean tenacity. As the battle raged, the grouper summoned one final surge of strength, snapping the fishing rod in two. Yet John was undeterred. With the broken rod, he continued his struggle, wrestling with the behemoth, his resolve unbroken. The oceanfront audience watched in awe as the fisherman and his prized catch emerged from the water, a sight that would surely inspire many campfire stories. The moment of victory was as surreal as it was sweet. John stood triumphant, the shattered rod a symbol of his grit against the giant grouper. This was not just a tale of extraordinary catch, it was a story of resilience, a reminder that even when we're in over our heads or in a tiny boat, we can achieve unbelievable feats. The ocean, after all, is filled with surprises. Octopus vs. Bald Eagle In the unassuming waters near Vancouver Island, a fierce struggle was unfolding beneath the surface. A bald eagle, emblem of freedom and power, found itself in a dire predicament. Ensnared in the merciless grip of a large octopus, the eagle had swooped down for an opportunistic catch only to become the quarry itself. The octopus, a master of camouflage and ambush, held its avian adversary in a death grip beneath the waves. A fishing crew, in the midst of their routine, spotted the unusual spectacle, a dance of life and death playing out in the silent depths. They were torn, unsure whether to intervene in the harsh laws of nature. But the sight of the majestic bird, its wings spread wild in feudal resistance, compelled them to act. With collective determination, they approached the aquatic battlefield, the octopus, stubborn and unyielding, had no intention of surrendering its meal. The crew, persistent as the tide, slowly began to peel the octopus off its captive, prying open the cold embrace of its tentacles. As the eagle was freed, it seized the chance and took flight, leaving its underwater adversary behind. The octopus, defeated yet undeterred, disappeared into the depths. In the end, the fishing crew bore witness to one of the most disturbing yet awe-inspiring fishing moments, a battle of survival between an octopus and a bald eagle. Eagle Snatches Shark On an ordinary day in sunny Florida, Darren Vick was out for his routine fishing expedition. The waters of Dundon were calm, the sinking sun casting an orange glow over the tranquil scene. Darren, having tried all day without much luck, was just about ready to pack it in. But then, a tug on the line, a small shark, a consolation prize perhaps, but a catch nonetheless. As Darren began to reel in his late-day trophy, an observer lurked from above. A bald eagle, the emblem of American strength and freedom, was locked into the same target. In a heart-stopping display of audacity and agility, the eagle descended from the sky, its talons outstretched. With precision that spoke of nature's raw, ruthless efficiency, it snatched the shark right off the line. The family looked on in disbelief, frantically whipping out their phones to capture this extraordinary spectacle. Despite their initial shock, the family quickly acted to ensure the eagle's safety, cutting the line and hook free. While they may have returned home without a physical catch, they carried with them the thrill of witnessing nature's drama unfold firsthand. The eagle's audacious swoop, the stolen shark, the gasps of surprise, all converging in a single breathtaking moment of wild, untamed life. The representation of the country's greatness, they felt, was encapsulated in the singular experience. As the eagle disappeared into the horizon, its powerful wings flapping against the setting sun, 
Darren and his family could only marvel at the unexpected turn of their fishing trip. It was a disturbing, thrilling, and utterly remarkable fishing moment they would never forget. Great White Shark Attacks Boat In a moment ripped straight from the pages of a seafaring thriller, a crew of sailors found themselves in a chilling face-off with nature's most formidable marine predator, the Great White Shark. Off the coast of Spain, tranquility of the blue waters was suddenly shattered by a disturbing yet awe-inspiring spectacle. The seafarers could only watch in horror and fascination as the ocean's apex predator targeted their sole lifeline, their boat. The attack wasn't an isolated incident. Orca whales, another one of the ocean's fearsome predators, had been exhibiting similar behavior, targeting boats and tearing off rudders. Marine experts, however, were quick to downplay these terrifying encounters. These were no signs of aggression, they insisted, but games that the creatures were indulging in, a chilling statement to their intelligence and adaptability. But for the sailors on the receiving end of these games, the encounters were anything but playful. As the frequency of these incidents continues to rise, sailors navigating these waters are on high alert. After all, when it comes to a showdown between man and nature, it's often the latter that has the upper hand. Sailors and fishermen, once masters in their realm, are learning the hard way that, in the deep blue sea, they are but visitors in the domain of these magnificent yet terrifying marine behemoths.